welcome to defenders voice i am paul kattapalle thank you for joining us please visit our website www.drpaul.org visit our blog we discuss most relevant things on our channel please support this ministry with your tax deductible donations you can donate on our website www.drpaul.org in today's episode let us answer this question vadayanidhi stalin a minister from tamil nadu called for the elimination of sanatana dharma is this right excellent question folks vadayanidhi stalin hails from tamil nadu a state in south india he is a minister in the current administration of uh, state government grandson of uh, uh, karunanidhi son of mk stalin recently he caused a big uproar by comparing hinduism to covid virus he likened hinduism to covid virus think about that he said such things like this virus should not be opposed but destroyed first we should uphold his constitutional rights of uh, free speech you may or may not like what he said but you don't have a right to curtail his freedom of speech ayodhya sir ramachandra das offered 10 crores for beheading stalin we see such things in islamic nations criticize muhammad or uh, criticize quran and some islamic cleric would put a bounty on your head now this is happening even in india this is not good for human rights one of our god given rights is to speak up our minds without any fear of retaliation or violence rather than upholding these basic human rights prime minister modi resorted to cheap politics of emotional exploitation subramanian swami said he would work for the dismissal of tamil nadu state government so mr swami who is a american educated economist obviously does not have much respect for first amendment rights of mr stalin he wants to eliminate his government just for making a statement he does not like now coming to the content of mr stalin's statements he did not mean to eradicate hinduism as a religion he meant to eradicate it as a tool of oppression tamil nadu has a long history of fighting for human rights Tamilians started the Dravidian movement which rejected the caste system leaders like E.V. Ramasamy Periyar demanded dismantling of Brahmin hegemony and the abolition of existing caste systems and religious practices caste system is a religiously sanctioned practice within Hinduism Hinduism enforced a rigid social structure which divided the people into four uh, distinct classes or varnas so body of brahma itself divided into four parts these classes were the brahmins the priestly class the kshatriyas which was made up of uh, nobles and warriors the vaishyas who were the merchants and the shudras who were the equivalent of serfs in a feudal system a fifth category of untouchables are dalits do not belong to any class or the body of brahma so bhagavad gita which consists of a dialogue between the uh, kshatriya warrior arjuna and the hindu god vishnu disguised as krishna explicitly states that membership in each caste demands carrying out of certain mandated duties and that failure to do so will bring disaster bhagavad gita and other hindu scriptures uphold caste system caste system is not a peripheral bad cousin in hinduism it is tied to its core teachings the law of karma and reincarnation the miserable lot of dalits is punishment for bad behavior in past lives even today dalits are not allowed into temples in many places your karma dictates the caste you would be born 
in your next rebirth. So caste, karma and rebirth, they go together. You cannot eliminate caste without eliminating those two cardinal doctrines of Hinduism. Even Gandhi, the father of India, knew that. He worked for the upliftment of uh, uh, Dalits without questioning the caste system. Because he knew that as a true Sanatani or orthodox Hindu, he could not ask for the elimination of caste system. So he just tried for the upliftment of uh, Dalits. Buddha questioned the caste system. That questioning led to his ouster from Hinduism. Today the majority of uh, Buddhists in India are Dalits. So what Vodayanidhi Stalin said is true. India cannot achieve social justice or equality as long as Sanatana Dharma holds its sway on its masses. Christianity is the solution to the caste system because when we put faith in Christ, we become members of one body, the body of Christ. No matter what caste or color or creed you belong to, you become a child of God in Christ. So the body of Brahma and the body of Christ. The body of Brahma, the body of Christ. Okay, Think about that. The body of Brahma, there is no equality in that. But the body of Christ, there is equality. There is place for everybody in the body of Christ. In the body of Brahma, everybody is divided into castes. But in the body of Christ, there is no caste. Everybody is equal. That's why uh, the body of Christ, the Christian faith is the answer. Whenever we see these uh, social injustices and inequalities in our society. Okay, folks, that's my answer. Please post your comments and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, also subscribe to our podcast. Thank you and God bless you.